What is up you guys? It's me Skylar. So right now I'm going to show you guys my Sunday night routine. It is currently almost 7 p.m. and still light outside so I know this is kind of weird but I have a bunch of different steps to my night routine so I'm gonna take you guys along. Let's get into it. Okay so every Sunday I always do my sheets. Look at this hot mess guys. Um, so I need to go get my sheets and then guys, I always turn on Disney Channel bangers when I'm doing my chores. So don't judge me, but honestly, I don't really care if you judge me because it's literally my favorite thing ever, so. part which is cleaning my bathroom. I have handy dandy Windex and handy dandy Dawn Power Wash. So I clean the counters first and I clean like floor and then I go in there in the toilet. I don't know why it is so light outside. Sometimes I'll be going to sleep and then I like look around and I'm like it looks like it's six o'clock outside. Like the sky does not have stars in it. Like it has clouds in it. And like at night there's supposed to be like stars in the sky but instead it looks like it's six o'clock. I don't know why I went on a rant about this but if you feel the same way, comment down below. I'm not gonna show you the inside because that's nasty. Well, there's really nothing in there, but still. Get ready with me to take out the trash. Okay you guys, so all of my yucky chores are done and now I can finally relax. So I write my to-do list every single night and Magic Mind has been a huge contributor to my daily routine. What's great about Magic Mind is that it's a mental performance shot that makes you think better and faster while reducing stress. And I definitely need that because sometimes I can get way too stressed out about really minuscule things. I can overthink to the max guys, so. Thank you, Magic Mind, for helping me. Magic Mind has made me feel more focused, mentally clear, motivated, and productive. Plus, they have over 100% of the vitamin C and D per bottle, which is really important because a lot of people don't have enough vitamin C and D in their day-to-day -day lives. So, I am going to drink my Magic Mind mental performance shot, and I'm gonna finish writing my to-do list because I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, so. Let's get to it. To-do list is done. I have some news to tell you guys and I'm honestly really excited. It's gonna be a little story time, so. Grab some popcorn, get comfy, I'll tell you a little story. Basically, I got some really great news last week. If you have been watching some of my previous videos, you would know that I actually got dropped by my voiceover agent. I think I said it in one of these videos. In that video, I talked about how I was dropped. And I was dropped by my manager and my voiceover agent because they were best friends and they decided that they wanted to drop me at the same time, on the same day, at 6 p.m. So it was really sad. They wanted to drop me at the same time because I was feeling uncomfortable with some of the things my manager was doing, so yeah, whole deal about that. But anyways, 
I was struggling for two months trying to find a voiceover agent. And if you know the industry, you know how hard it is to get an agent, okay? You know what I'm saying. So I have my theatrical agent, AFH, love y'all. And I've had them since February. I self-submitted to them and I signed with them. So that's like really rare to self-submit and get an agent. So I've been asking people for referrals and it just really wasn't working. I took matters into my own hands and I self-submitted to a bunch of voiceover agents. And I didn't think anything of it. And there was this one voiceover agent that I knew I shouldn't really submit to because I was told from a person that I got a referral from that they didn't have anyone in my age division. So I was like, eh. I'll just submit to them, but they're probably gonna say no. But honestly, in acting, saying no means not answering, yay. I love the industry. I was like, all right, I just sent it. And it was on Thursday, and then I'm at work, and I got this email saying, hi Skylar, this is Osbrink, and we would love for you to read for us. And I was like, Osbrink? They have been my dream agent since like forever. All right, I gotta do this audition for them. And it was like kind of like a callback, right? I've been up there, and I recorded until midnight, and I sent it in the next morning on Friday, August 16th. I didn't hear anything back from them until noon and I was running on the treadmill and all of a sudden I say, hi Skylar, we would love to offer you representation. And I was like, oh, I was screaming. Well, no, not really screaming because there were people in the gym. This is incredible. I am so excited. I'm going to see them tomorrow. <laughs> They want me to come into their office and meet them. I'm going to see them tomorrow, so I need to wear a really cute outfit. I got them really cute gifts, and I'll show you guys the gifts in a second. And I need to pick what I'm wearing tomorrow because I need to look presentable. I don't, I don't want to look like a hobo, even though there's nothing wrong with hobos, but I personally don't want to look like a hobo. Let's pick my outfit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the little gifts first. This is for my new voiceover agent at Osbrank. And I put many thanks from me, and then the little gift has some like notepads and pens and highlighters and then a little thing of like smart sweet candy. And then this is for AFH. I have this really cute bag that says appreciate you and inside it's like this little like tree that brings like good fortune and then inside this card they have a $75 gift card to one of their favorite restaurants which I found out from his Instagram and my agent, well one of my agents is vegan so I got them these little chocolate chip cookies from Whole Foods and they're gonna love it. I'm so excited to bring it tomorrow and I need to pick a really good outfit because huh, I've never met my agents in person. Isn't that weird? Only met them on Zoom. Well, not Osbrink, but AFH I've only met on Zoom. Let's pick my outfit. So I was thinking jeans. With my jeans, I probably go with some Converse. So I'm gonna go with jeans and Converse. These Converse are literally my faves. Okay, I think I'm going to have this New York shirt that I got in New Jersey as an option. This could be an option too. I mean, this is kind of cute. And I like this shirt, but it's gonna be way too hot. And I wear it on my AFH callback audition. This is my go-to shirt for everything. I love this shirt. I, I wear this shirt in like every single one of my videos. I realize if I try on the night before, sometimes when I wake up, I feel different. So I'll do it in the morning but I'll make sure to get up a little earlier, that way I'm not late. And then you put these all on my bed and then we'll start my skincare. And honestly guys, I will just put a picture right here of what outfit I wore because this video is coming out after that happened, so. This is what I wore, I don't know what I wore, but this is what I wore, because this is me in the future, so there you go. Fun fact, I think I told this in another video, but I wore this in the airport because I wanted a headband so bad, so I bought this headband off TikTok shop because I am in my headband era. Oh. Nothing like feeling bald. So the first thing that I'm using is my Easy Peasy Cleansing Oil. I cannot stand opening new bottles. Oh, wait, there's a safety lock on it. That was so awkward, okay. So this is actually Korean skincare. It works so well. Uh, yes, I know this coconut oil is literally liquid. I like putting this on like my pimples. I don't know, I think it helps. So I just like put it on my finger like this. Soothing gel mask. So it's honey and almond. Ugh, that feels so weird, guys. Honestly, this is giving self care Sunday. Whoa, it's like warm and tingly at the same time. 
If I was outside, literally all the bees would be on my face right now because I smell like honey. Which reminds me of like a mask I did on my mom when I was like little. It had like oatmeal in it or something. Guys, I have been loving this new show I've been watching. It's called Doogie Kamaloha or something. I don't know how to say your last name, but it's really good. It got canceled after two seasons, which is so sad. Fun fact, my theatrical agents represent one of the guys on that show, Kai, the guy Matthew Sato. So that's uh, pretty cool, and I think he's kind of cute, so. Not me saying he's cute while I have this mask on. That's so embarrassing. Hopefully he doesn't see this. He's not gonna see this, okay. If he did, that would be really crazy. Okay guys, so it's been like 15 minutes and now I'm going to take this mask off. It's kind of burning, to be honest. Hello, why did it turn Honestly, I wanna know what is your guys' favorite show? My favorite show ever has to be either Wizards of Waverly Place or Hannah Montana. The look trial is really good too. Oh, there's like something in my eye. I'm gonna stretch. Stretching is good for you, so I do it before my shower. I feel like there's a bug in my hair. The air conditioning just turned on, so I'm gonna stretch and yeah. Magic Mind is a beneficial addition to my daily routine. I have seen such a big difference in my stress and motivation levels. My energy has also been increasing while I'm exercising, making me want to do more in the gym and not less. There was a day I was supposed to run four miles, but I ended up running 6.3, which is a 10K. I had to drive up to LA several times this month and I used to get really overwhelmed by these trips, but ever since taking Magic Mind, I have noticed a sense of serenity within myself. I also saw a huge improvement in my memorization skills when it came to learning my lines for my acting auditions, which is a huge deal. Lastly, I am a gymnastics coach and I work up to six hour days and let me tell you, working with kids can get draining at times, but with Magic Mind, I am able to sustain the entire day with no feelings of exhaustion. When before, I used to be at the gym for two hours and I would feel myself shutting down. I take a Magic Mind shot every day before work and the results have been positively increasing my mood and energy levels. Magic Mind really does wonders, you guys. Okay guys, so now it is time for me to take a shower and get all cleaned up. So let's go do that and then I'll see you guys right after. Now I'm literally about to go to bed. I literally love wearing big t-shirts to bed. First things first, pimple stickers. I have to put this star on my chin, obviously, because I need to be looking my best when I go to see my agent tomorrow. It's so exciting. It feels like I am literally about to like go on vacation. I don't know why, like I have that same feeling. Like I'm so excited. And then next week I have a voiceover workshop, which I'm excited about. But the thing is, is that I had this voiceover workshop that I went to and I drove all the way up there with my mom to Studio City and it got canceled and I was so Sad. I got the refund and then I rescheduled it for next week. Ha! Ah, look how beautiful. And now it's time to brush my teeth, you guys. which is literally my favorite thing ever. And now it is time to go to sleep. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And use my code SKYTHERLY20 for 48% off your first purchase for the next 10 days. Magic Mind link is in description, y'all. And did you know that Magic Mind is now in Central Market, Sprouts, and Air One? How amazing is that? I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. I have to get some sleep because I have a big day tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Good night. <laughs>